welcome to a new edition of our program, Women's World. And in this special edition of our program, we will focus on the press conference that was held early in the day between Foreign Minister Badr Abdel Ati and the UNRWA uh, Chief Philip Lazzarini. The press conference was held on Monday, and Abdel Ati said that UNRWA is one of the most important organizations working in Gaza, and that its role is not confined to providing support for Palestinians living in Gaza. He said 200 employees have been killed since the start of the war on Gaza. He said that a campaign against UNRWA is is targeting the sanctity of all international humanitarian organizations. He also said that the work of UNRWA will not end until Palestinian refugees receive their rights. He called on the international community and financing parties to reconsider fin financing UNRWA, stressing that uh, continuing with financial injections to the organization is imperative for it to continue with its work. And to shed uh, more light on the importance of this uh, uh, press uh, conference, uh, we are joined over the phone by Ambassador Saad Chalabi, for, for, uh, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good afternoon, uh, Ambassador Saad. Good afternoon. So, uh, uh, Ambassador Saad, what is uh, the significance of uh, this uh, press conference between Foreign Minister Badr Abdel Ati and uh, the UNRWA Chief Philip uh, Lazzarini that was held early in the day? Um, this, um, this, press, uh, this meeting, the visit of uh, the uh, highest, uh, um, uh, highest position uh, in uh, UNRWA, the Commissioner General of UNRWA, Philippe Lazzarini, yes. to Egypt is a, has a big significance that Egypt is the Im most important country in the border with Gaza, um, that, and it, uh, Egypt is providing more than 70% of aid that enters in Gaza Strip, while um, uh, UNRWA is being attacked uh, by many uh, countries and many uh, in financial institutions uh, that are um, uh, not uh, financially, that were supposed to be financially uh, helping UNRWA to uh, get back to its work uh, after being uh, bombarded in, um, in Gaza. So uh, the Commissioner General of UNRWA, Lazzarini, is asking uh, Egypt for support uh, to get back to work as an agency in uh, Gaza uh, to supply humanitarian relief to uh, uh, those uh, people who ha are, tra are trapped in Gaza and there will be a, uh, a famine uh, coming up because of the lack of food and lack of sup food supplies uh, in the Gaza Strip. So there are a lot of challenges that uh, UNRWA is facing, whether it is uh, for education, uh, whether it is for, um, for medical supplies, for food aid, for, uh, for it is really um, a disaster, a disaster in Gaza Strip now. Yes, so uh, Ambassador uh, Suhaid also, um, uh, Foreign Minister Badr Abdel Ati said that there can uh, be no substitute for the UN agency for Palestinian refugees on Rwa in Gaza. And uh, as we can all see that uh, the uh, Israeli side is attacking the UNRWA uh, headquarters. Yes, um, un un uh, unfortunately, um the UNRWA ha has been uh, subject to a campaign aiming at dismantling it and undermining its role in Gaza. Even there had been uh, 2,000 uh, of its workers who have lost their lives giving, providing aid, and this is against the international humanitarian aid, which uh, gives uh, the safety uh, for um, press and for medical uh, uh, medical uh, people who are uh, offering uh, to help those who are injured and those who, who have lost their lives in the in the war. So it is um, it is um, uh, it, it is a campaign that is 
uh, that is uh, trying to dismantle uh, UNRWA and they are not uh, not giving uh, UNRWA the, the the possibility and the, and um, and the uh, and the, the uh, and the, uh, the possibility of doing its work um, to to provide humanitarian relief and and to uh, to be able to uh, to go uh, in and out with uh, without um, uh, lot of restrictions and without uh, uh, having uh, to to lose their lives uh, I I from the bomb bombarding. So there is no alternative, right? He, uh, he said that the m a new minister, Badr Abdelati, has, uh, has indicated and has said that there is no alternative for UNRWA in Gaza because it is the only agency that has aid distribution centers, that has hospitals around, that has medical, uh, that has, I mean, educational centers, and um, it, it, um, the, their hospitals receive uh, and even the Egyptian hospitals are receiving from UNRWA uh, hospitals in Gaza uh, many injured Palestinians who are suffering and who are who lost their their um, their um, their lives and their their um, families and they they are receiving them in the Egyptian hospitals. So uh, there is um, a close uh, coordination between UNRWA and the Egyptian um, um, Red Cross. I mean, uh, the Egyptian Red Cross. Yes. And uh, uh, um, Ambassador Saad, how do you see uh, the situation now uh, in Gaza under the Israeli aggression and the famine that uh, spreads uh, in uh, Gaza? Well, it's, uh, it's a disaster. It's a catastrophic. It is... It is uh, it, is, it has never had it, it, it has never happened in any uh, time or, or in any place in the world that so many lives have been uh, lost in a war that so many uh, people have been displaced uh, just a um, few days ago there has been uh, 250,000 Palestinians were displaced from Khan Yunus in the absence of a safe place in Gaza. So they, uh, people are moving from one place to another and there's not one place that is safe for them. And this is uh, a crucial war that, is, that has catastrophic um, repercussions that will uh, be historically condemned by all the, uh, the different uh, legal and, um, and, uh, and humanitarian institutions. And uh, um, also, um, we all know that the Palestinian cause is atop uh, the priorities of the Egyptian foreign policy and that Egyptian efforts to reach a ceasefire have not stopped since uh, the start of uh, the war. Uh, how do you evaluate uh, the uh, Egyptian efforts to discuss the unresolved uh, points in Gaza Truce Agreement? Well, Egypt, uh, since day one, has offered uh, to mediate between uh, Hamas and between uh, uh, Israel. And until today, they are doing their best in order to negotiate the hostage settlement uh, in the exchange of uh, hostages, the, uh, the relief of uh, Palestinians, the, um, the, uh, uh, the humanitarian uh, aid that is coming through the border. So, um, Egypt since day one has been uh, negotiating and mediating with uh, international uh, partners, with uh, regional partners. Uh, Egypt has had the conference uh, for uh, asking for peace in the region and uh, to stop the Gaza, uh, the Gaza war, the, the, to, to have an immediate and sustainable ceasefire. But uh, uh, nothing has been happening because of uh, the extreme racist policy of uh, Israel and the uh, stupidness and the stubbornness of uh, Netanyahu uh, wanting to, uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to use the, uh, the most uh, devastating uh, uh, regime that is, uh, that is uh, going to get rid of all of uh, the Palestinians, whether it is in 
in Gaza or in uh, West Bank, and um, um, they, 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 are, they, are, they are undermining the credibility of the international community and uh, the donors who are, uh, uh, who are supposed to be uh, giving the, uh, food and uh, give, giving humanitarian aid are not able to do so through the Rafah border, although Egypt is um, ready to open the Rafah border, but Israel is blocking it. And this is against the international law, against the humanitarian, international humanitarian law. So um, this, um, um, this uh, uh, regime of, uh, of, uh, that is uh, supposed to be um, uh, the ruling uh, Gaza now, the Israelis are, are trying to uh, occupy Gaza again and to, uh, to force the racial discrimination policy and to, uh, to do a, a complete uh, uh, disaster, to, to wipe out all the citizens is not going to happen because Hamas is not, uh, is not only a military, um, a, a military uh, faction, it is, it, is, uh, it is going to have more, uh, more it is a, a resistance, it is a Palestinian resistance, um, and it, it is going to continue uh, even even if they uh, even if they dis dissolve all the the military bases of Hamas in Gaza, they will continue even if it is in the future. It will be uh, it will continue to um, to live uh, because it is. Uh, the Palestinian state, and they want to go back to their country. And there are many, many Palestinians, millions of Palestinians who are who have been dispersed around the world, who want to, to go back to their homeland. So Israel is never going to succeed in this war. Uh, not even if if now it's it's succeeding by wiping out the uh, the Hamas, but it is never going to. Uh, to wipe out the resistance movement. Um, uh, historically, it, it will always uh, live and it will always um, continue. Yes. Uh, I want my final question, Ambassador Zouad. Um, uh, Foreign Minister Badr Abdelati also uh, stressed on the international community, uh, called on the international community uh, and financing parties to reconsider financing on Rwa, stressing that continuing with financial injections to the organization is imperative for it to continue with uh, its uh, work. Um, uh, how do you read uh, his statement and the importance of financing on Rwa at uh, this stage and why the international community remains silent against all international, against um, targeting uh, international humanitarian organizations? Uh, well, uh, uh, actually, uh, not all um uh, not all the, uh, there was uh, a, a call for humanitarian aid for Gaza, yes. uh, Gazans, and it has been, it has been, uh, it has uh, faced a lot of difficulties, but the commitment of uh, countries and of agencies uh, uh, fell short of what they have promised. And that is why it, uh, and because of Israelis, uh, um, rejection of uh, helping any uh, Gaza, uh, Gazan agencies, and that is why uh, uh, all the international agencies and, uh, and Western countries who have been uh, sending aid to Palestinians uh, are now, uh, uh, are now uh, taking one step back because they lose the, their lives, even even the agencies who have been doing humanitarian job, even the press, even the, uh, the, the relief workers uh, lost their lives. So it is, it is uh, Israel who has uh, decided to, um, uh, to uh, stop the, the aid uh, and to let the Palestinians go through um, the ordeal of uh, famine and ordeal of... Uh, of uh, um, uh, medical uh, of loss of medical supplies, and that is why um, um, Minister Abdelati has uh, 
has called on all the agencies uh, uh, to re, uh, to support the agencies' work and to and to re, uh, 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 refinance and re support by giving them um, uh, the full full support because they are the only ones who are able. Uh, to send the aid distribution uh, through the aid distribution centers in the Gaza Strip, and uh, of course uh, it is um, it is the it is um, the responsibility of all the uh, international agencies, whether they are UN or they are Red Cross or, or Red Crescent, to supply uh, the Gaza, the Gazan population with uh, food and medical aid, and this is uh, like a, a, it's a humanitarian responsibility in order to uh, have uh, the, those displaced go back to their homes and, and uh, try, try to, to build their uh, homes again. Uh, the Palestinian refugees are, have suffered a lot, uh, whether in, uh, during the war or before the war. So uh, let us uh, look to the future and try to um, to uh, help uh, UNRWA in order to uh, to be able uh, to face all the responsibilities of uh, uh, replace uh, of uh, uh, dealing with all the displaced Gazans all over Gaza. Yes, I'd like to thank you, Ambassador Saeed Shalabi, former assistant foreign minister. Thank you for being with us. And as we said earlier, that foreign minister Badr Abdel Ati said there can be no substitute for the UN agency for Palestinian refugees UNRWA in Gaza. And he was speaking during a joint press conference with UNRWA chief Philippe Lazzarini in Cairo on Monday. Abdel Ati said UNRWA is one of the most important organizations working in Gaza and that its role is not confined to providing support for Palestinians living there. He said 200 employees have been killed since the start of the war. He said the campaign against UNRWA is targeting the sanctity of all international humanitarian organizations. He also said the work of UNRWA will not end until Palestinian refugees achieve the rights. He called on the international community and financing partners to reconsider financing UNRWA, stressing that continuing with financial injections to the organization is imperative for it to continue with its work, adding that the Palestinian cause is atop the priorities of Egyptian foreign policy. He said that Egyptian efforts to reach a ceasefire have not stopped since the start of the war. For his part, Lazarini said some European countries have raised their financial contributions to the UNRWA. He also said that there is no, there is no substitute for UNRWA with regards to providing educational services in Gaza. And by that, dear viewers, we come to the end of today's special edition of our program, Women's World. Thank you for watching.